What's up guys, Zio here from the Austin Nerd Show bringing you more action figures, this time with the Marvel Legends World War II Captain America that comes with a motorcycle. So this is a more of a comic based version of Captain America and then he comes with a motorcycle here as you kind of see from World War II which looks just like a repainted job of the other motorcycles they've done in the past so nothing too special about that. But this is pretty cool of course, Captain America is my favorite superhero of all time so it's pretty cool to get another version of Captain America. Not the best one though but we'll look at him and kind of compare him and stuff but still pretty cool looking set overall I'm just excited to get into it so let's go ahead and do that but first don't forget to show me how awesome you are and hit that subscribe button let's go ahead and get into it so here it is out of the box and again some pretty cool stuff about this some of this stuff I'm disappointed in and everything but let's just go and take a look so we'll move the motorcycle to the back for now and look at the Captain America himself so this is pretty cool I love this Captain America design like overall which we'll see something pretty familiar and I have it to show and compare to you and everything but the face of course I don't like too much but everything else I do like a lot about this figure and everything but let's go ahead and look at it. So up top we got the helmet there, the army helmet of course, with the A on it, very similar to the other Captain America stuff. It comes off and we have the leather mask on there, so covering his face and everything. Got it, guess has to hide his identity. But it doesn't look absolutely horrible with the helmet. I don't like the look as much with it. I don't think it's bad, but it's just, I wish they would have just had like an unmasked head of it. And I don't know exactly what this costume design is from. I tried looking it up and I just couldn't find it. So if you know if like there's a comic issue or something, this design is is from go ahead and let me know in the comments but I tried looking it up but all I could find about anything is just like either from the movie or this version itself of Captain America design like this from World War II with the motorcycle so unfortunately I couldn't find anything about it so I don't know why he has like this mask on and everything but then we go down to his costume so he has like a army jacket style jacket here of course it's all blue this time has a star and then the red and white stripes there on it to make it of course like the Captain America design has the straps over the top with the belt on here with all sorts of ammo pockets and everything has the holster here on the side with the gun that's already in it so that came on it Ooh, and I like the US stamping there right on the top so that's pretty cool that's a little different than something we've seen before and then has the blue pants with the pockets and stuff the strap tied around it and stuff and there with the sheath down there on the bottom for the legs for the knife and then the brown boot coverings at the bottom covering his black boots there and again if you're looking at this and think it looks kind of familiar that's because it's pretty much this is Captain America that we did in the past already just redesigned so if you look at it, you'll see a lot of similarities. So again, with the helmets, we have the pretty much exact same helmet. This one just obviously has the goggles on the top of it, but they're both helmets that can be removed. Have the same strap, it's just this one's a light brown, this is a darker brown. So that's really the only difference that we have there. Then of course the actual, since this is the Chris Evans version, and this is just a comic, so it has the covered up face. But the jacket designs, like the arms and everything, are exactly the same. Just obviously one's blue and one's brown. And then have darker gloved hands and stuff there. And then of course the actual outfit design is different because obviously he's not showing the red and white stripes and stuff and then this one's got a jacket piece that covers over the top and then this one you know has like a double breasted type version there and then it has the exact same design like shoulder holster set here so again exact same design with all the pockets stuff so, you know you can see the same thing just different colors this one's a lighter brown and green this one's just an art dark brown with the silver paint in it. both have guns I guess they both do have the US uh, stamped on them and everything same there exact same pants different colors though you can see blue and then the brown Brown. and then like this one obviously doesn't have where it has the darker brown there but the same you know design same thigh holster and everything for a knife they both come with knife both come with a gun and they both have the same shield just different designs and then the feet are the exact same again just different colors same shoe design and everything so that's why we've seen, pretty much seen this before just the center body pretty much from the waist up in the center is the only thing that's different between these two versions but I don't think it's that big a difference like if this didn't have a mask this would probably be one of my favorite like comic styled cap Captain America figures since this one's like my favorite MCU version by far. But I just wanted to point out those differences and again the MCU one came with the dirty shield where this version here comes with the clean version of the shield so it's same kind of shield design. Obviously it's got different so it has the peg there on the back so you can stick it on his back if you want to or you can flip this around to give it put it on his wrist. So you just take that and then you just clamp it on his wrist and then he's got the shield on like that and stuff so pretty simple <laughs> nothing too hard about that and stuff but yeah it's got the same same sort of huge shield design stuff of course with the blue filled with all the stars the red and white stripes and everything so fits in there for Captain America and then he also has the same knife as well so that can go down into the sheath there on his legs again the gun that's already in his pocket and stuff probably the exact same gun design there as well but it's still pretty cool overall so the head can obviously twist around and nod shoulders can move up and twist all the way around bicep twist double elbow joint and the hand that can twist around and flex then he has an ab crunch but again like 
like the last figure too, the crunch does not work too well because of the straps wrapped around him and stuff, so it kind of limits him being able to flex. But it has a twist at the waist, the legs that can come up about 90 degrees out to the side quite a bit and everything. Twist at the thigh, double knee joint, twist right at the top of the boot, and then the foot that can flex and twist side to side. So lots of good movements there except for the ab crunch, but that doesn't really matter too much and everything. But that's really all there is for the actual figure. And then we have the bike, which the bike, like I said, we've had this in the past, I think looks like the Ghost Rider. Pretty much they just took and modified a little bit to look more, you know, World War II style. They painted it green and added a brown leather and stuff. But I like the design overall. It's just some of the stuff I don't like too much about it. So obviously it's just a motorcycle, two wheels stuff. We have the engines in the center and stuff. We have the little kickstand down here at the bottom. The foot pedals, the handbrakes and stuff has a little mirror to see in the back. A speedometer there on the front and stuff, a shield. And then on the back, of course, the seat there. And then on the back, we have some sat compartment satchel things and stuff. The exhaust coming out of the back there. And then on the front, we have a light and everything. And then you can see we have some additional stuff. So I like the design, have what they did overall. So they added, you know, some silver and stuff to add some wear to the front of the motorcycle. They added it here on the ammo case as well which unfortunately just kind of pops on there so it doesn't stick on very well so all these sort of things that just stick on could pop right off super easily so that's one thing I don't like about the design but I think it's pretty cool they have an ammo case to attach there on the front of the wheel and stuff it looks pretty cool that they added I like the shield here on the front or you know the protector visor thing how they made it it's a piece additional piece of plastic as you can see there and stuff but they made it look all wrinkly and stuff so it looks like it's leather covered which I think kind of would be in this sort of style and stuff but so that looks pretty cool again I like that detail they put into it there then we have a holster here on the front which has a gun i think it's like a tommy gun or something here that goes into it but unfortunately as you can see if you like you have it on so i have it on there so it's staying on but if you try and put the gun in the magazine gets in the way so you can't really get it in so it pushes in and then pops this off and then i found when it, the gun is in the sheath when the gun is in the holster it won't go onto the bike so i have to take it out push it on as much as i can and then just set the gun in it like that and so that's one design i don't like about it and again they just easily pop right off so that kind of stinks about that and then again we have the front motorcycle wheel design so again we have the handles can control the front here wheel and stuff so it's on like a little hinge there so it can move back and forth then we go to the actual bike again like the star here on the gas tank and stuff again the engine and stuff that they had paint to a little bit of paint issue going on there and then we i like the brown leather seat there it adds you know some detail to it and everything and then we go to the little satchel or bags here on the back and stuff so again the i don't like the way this is designed so it's pretty much just being held on with this just sits on top of a peg and then this side here has a little plastic piece that slides into the bag but there are two little bags that actually open so they have these two little strap things here that just kind of slide into what the buckles there so you can pull them off and open them and you can kind of see inside yeah there's a little green piece out yeah i can't really get the light you can kind of see it right there the little green piece of the bike that slides in there to hold that on and then it has also these little two peg things here, which is attaching it to the other side here. So this side is just pretty much free hanging on again. It's only being held on by this little bag here that's just sitting on a peg, which can easily pop right off. But it's pretty much a combination of this bag being held on to the bike here and then the pegs uh, popping into this bag as well holding this bag on. As you can see, it's kind of loose and just free hanging there. So either the pegs come off there or the back comes off of the motorcycle piece this kind of just falls right off so i don't like that design i wish there was something holding this on but unfortunately there's not and again it's the same design you can open up the bag and everything so it's pretty cool they did that of course nothing too major really that comes with this to put in there but it's just a pretty cool design that they added into it so there's the captain america on the motorcycle so again pretty cool again the gun doesn't fully fit in there and when i was messing around trying to get them on it popped off again so that's unfortunate and then i wish there'd be a place where you could stick the shields so like in the movie and stuff the first avenger movie he took his shield of course it was a round shield at that point and set it on the front so it had you know protection here on the front but unfortunately there's no place to like stick it or add it on so you know it has the pagan stuff where you could stick it onto something but unfortunately it doesn't come with that or any like any spots that you can really stick that or anything so i just have it stuck on his arm here and stuff but it looks pretty cool overall i really like the design stuff it fits very well for a comic style version of captain america from world war ii and stuff it looks pretty cool and then if you don't want that head on you can always take this additional chris evans head the unmasked version and stick it on there under the helmet so if you don't want uh that head with the leather 
leather on it because I know a lot of people don't like that. I don't think it's bad, but I don't like the look overall since I've never really seen Captain America wear this. So it's just kind of something new and different and everything. But yeah, you could take the Chris Evans head and put that on if you wanted to as well. But that's going to be it for this Captain America figure. If you like this, let me know in the comments down below. Let me know what your opinions are on these whole ride things. Like the figure I think is pretty cool, but the motorcycle itself, you know, it's just a cheap motorcycle plastic toy thing. Nothing too special about it. But I like the green and the brown details, you know, it looks very much like World War II and everything. And I like this addition of the ammo box and the holster here on the front and stuff and the bags there on the side and stuff. I think it looks pretty cool. Overall, I think this looks pretty cool just in general, like this picture and stuff. So let me know your opinions in the comments. Leave a thumbs up. And of course, subscribe to the channel to see more Marvel Legends videos. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you next time.